Mike House is a local character from Tall Point in Cornwall. He spends a lot of time in Plymouth and walks around uh, as a lady. Over quite a few years from 2011, when he started cross-dressing, I've been recording him. And this is just after I met him. Hello, I'm Chris Summerfield. This is uh, the interview with Mike Howell in Plymouth City Centre. Uh, life is about diversity and about being who you want to be, not what the, what the system tells you to be and what other people tell you to be. So uh, be open-minded about this interview with Mike Howell. I found uh, Plymouth to be a very prejudiced city, so I think it's very brave of you to be uh, coming into the city centre and cross-dressing. Well, it is, and uh, I do fear sometimes because uh, I always say, you understand, it next to your murderer or your lover. Uh, because I'm highly motiv motivated, I have to carry this through. So how long have you been? You've been doing this for nearly a year now. I've been doing it nearly a year. Uh, I've got a gorgeous pink uh, thing on and, and it makes me feel an artist because actors when they get into character put on the costume, this has now become my costume and I feel very, very special. What's the worst thing that's happened to you since you've been in the film? Uh, I was threatened once. How long ago was that? Uh, about six months ago. Uh, I think it was money with menaces. I would like it to put it that way. So I purchased something, uh, which I didn't really want, uh, just to get rid of the person. So what, was the, what did the person come across like? Uh, very jovial, very sociable to begin with. Well, in my, my view, uh, what I've seen of uh, people at uh, the biggest clinics, they're normally the ones with more to hide in, in, in any case, or they've got more issues themselves. Yeah, so, I so I think you're very brave to be doing what you're doing, and it's because you know about yourself and your own sexuality and sensuality that uh, you can accept it, and uh, it's uh, making other people more open, uh, open minded to other people's uh, views and, uh, and uh, what they're all about as well. Oh, yes, I, I mean. Uh, I'm hoping when people see me, because millions of men I do know dress in secret, and it's unfair really on the men, because the men are impressed. I'm, I'm working with the uh, Equality Commission at the moment, and uh, they are discriminating against the men. Uh, the only way you can get around that is if you're going to have a sex change. And I think it's change. And I think it's totally wrong. I think men should be allowed to dress as they want because women have been cross-dressing for donkey's years and nobody says anything to them. I just love being in colourful clothes. I'm an artist. I need to see colour all the time to keep the paintings in my head, to keep my artistic skills going. You look at men, and I've got nothing against men. I'm a man myself, and I will always want to be a man. Well, a, a lot of the uh, issues are, are due to social conditioning any, anyway. On the uh, on the waterfront about two days, guys wearing a, uh, a, a, a shirt, and it happened to be pink, and somebody said, oh, I like your pink shirt, mate. And it wasn't even worth an answer, that, that, uh, that question, you know, because it's obviously somebody that got issues of their own. Yeah, because well, I, what's colour anyway? Exactly. But it's strange you say that, Chris. Uh, I agree with you 100%. I'm now beginning to say I've got nothing to explain. I'm just wearing ordinary gear. When it's on me, if I wear a dress, it's a man's dress. Well, views are, if, uh, views if, are all uh, 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 down to social and mental conditioning anyway. Yes, yes. Uh, and acceptability. And, and I agree with that and I understand all that. If you asked me to do this five years ago, I, I probably wouldn't. And uh, what, what I'm saying is that uh, because I am an artist, a lot of people, uh, artists, lose the will to carry on painting. How long have you been an artist, did you say? I've been a, an artist now for about a good 20 years and I also run the Tall Point Art Club uh, free of charge at the Tall Point Library, one to four. And uh, that's on what free, days? And that's on a Friday. And that's free to anybody who is willing to learn. Is it watercolour oils or? It's watercolour, it's oils, it's, it's every media going. 
and also I've been doing voluntary work with Plymouth University. So what's the subject matter usually? The subject matter to begin with is what they want to do because art, if you said to me draw a ship and I don't want to draw, draw a ship, it's not going to come out. So I ask them normally to bring something along that they're mentally prepared with and then they just show me what they can do and then I take guidance from that. And how many members do you have? I have about 20 a week. But we run out of chairs. As I could take more. So do you do any work outdoors? Uh, I always work outdoors because I find that is the most rewarding. And uh, I belong to the East Cornwall Society of Artists at the Ebenezer Gallery at Paul Perrow. I, I own a part of that gallery. It's a cooperative and they will not take photographs. You have to draw outside and then they accept your work. And how long has that gallery been up and running? That gallery's been running for, well, I'm trying to think of the time now, over 50 years. And it was uh, established by six artists. And the last one who's there now is Vasti. And uh, it's now been given to all the artists, which is a cooperative. Two years ago, you uh, gave some art to a sailor or produced some artwork for a sailor. Can you give us that story? Uh, I'm trying to think now. Uh, I did for HMS Rally in Tor Point. Uh, uh, Pete Goss? Oh, Pete Goss, yes. Uh, I've done so many commissions for uh, David establishments, but uh, I'd like to say yes, Pete Goss, uh, by a sheer accident, we bumped into each other, and I said, well, if my picture is not good enough, Pete, don't have it. But he, he, we had a massive uh, presentation at the Tall Point Library. It is my best painting I ever done, and I'm afraid, I even said to Pete Goss, who sailed to Australia from New Lynn, that he can't have the original. It was my best ever painting, but he did accept the print. This has been a Christopher Summerfield Media production. You can contact me, sponsor me, and support me through PayPal at ChristopherSummerfield at gmail.com. Thanks for watching this art video.